Matt Lennon and Boxing Social in association with Ford Irish now and EmpireFights.freebets.com. We're here, Anthony Crawler. And I appreciate you allowing us down to the gym today. No, it's been Matt, nice. for um, coming, mate. No problem. Catch up with yourself and obviously uh, this big stable of fighters. Even though you had yes, this many fighters, but <laughs> I didn't really. It's just creeped up on me. Uh, but yeah, there's probably one or two missing it. But it's it's one of them. I'd, I'd always try and stagnate them. Like once a week, we'll train as a group. Like when it's a bit of a conditioning session, I think that's good. Like to have that sort of togetherness and pushing each other on. But then at the same time, I know. I bring some in different days, different times, because I don't want the quality to suffer. Uh, but yeah, no, a busy stable, a busy stable, and um, I'm in here more than ever, to be honest. Start with the amateurs, I think before you come to, to amateurs who I work with, we've got national championships coming up. So yeah, very much um, living in this place. Um, you've got a lot of fighters, obviously Rhiannon Dixon uh, coming up in a world title fight shortly against a girl with a lot of experience. How pleased are you for Rhiannon to get this opportunity and how pleased are you with the improvements that she's made since you've, um, since you've been working with her? Listen, the fight's probably come a fight or so earlier than expecting or ideally, but I'm very confident as well at the same time. It's a chance, like one we couldn't turn down, but it's a chance she takes. Uh, I really believe that. I think the improvement in her from the Katarina Thanders fight when she won a European title mm -hmm. to now, anyone who sees it, like she's uh, she's come on so much, and I'm confident April the 13th she becomes world champion. It'll be a very proud night. What's the biggest improvement you've seen from when you picked her up, at, like you said, two and zero to now? Because there must yeah, be night and day. I'd never listen. She was a great athlete, and she come from uh, we're going to leave Blundell, and he he done a good job starting her off. And I can't like that's I'm never not going to say that. But I believe I've just tried to tidy her up. I think the biggest improvement are her feet. I think her feet are fantastic. I think anyone who sees her and when they can't believe you, they can't believe you know she looks so rounded like she was a very good amateur. Her feet was so important because I was obviously when I first got her, she was very powerful. Uh, young girl, you know, very powerful athlete, but I felt like it was just tidying up, getting her feet there and stuff. And um, I feel like that's been that's what we've been working on an awful lot, and I believe that's paid off. There's been a lot of talk about her and her potential fights. Obviously, Caroline yeah. Dubois had a lot to say. Um, yes. So you've seen them comments. Um, what do you make of that? Is that a fight down the line? Obviously, yeah, not looking I, past this I one do, where I, you can get a bit. Made. First of all, listen, I rate Caroline highly. Um, I think. McGuigan's who you don't know, really know boxing, they speak very highly of her and I think they mean it. Uh, but I think it was the politics that was involved. That fight really, we both knew it was never really going to happen. I think the politics involved, then the purse bits, and then we knew this shot was coming as well. So I'm not going to start sitting here lying going, oh, do you know, I, listen, Rhiannon's one of them, she'd fight who she wants, but I think it makes a lot more sense for him to fight now for a world title later in the year, um, where I think by the timing it would have... It might have been a little bit rushed, and that's not me talking. I think listen, I'm like I'm saying, they would have happily took it. So now, um, but I'd love to meet later in the year and have a bit longer with Rihanna. And I think listen, I'm not denying it's a tough ass, but the rate she's improving, it's a fight I'd love um, later in the year. I genuinely mean that. Um, and now she's, I don't know if she's going to fight Beatrice or not. Uh, Oh, she's pulled out of that one, I don't know, but that would have been a very good fight. She's very good, the Brazilian, but no, like I say, I wouldn't rule out them fighting in a unification later in the year. Talk about some of these other fighters you've got in here. Um, obviously, you've worked with James Moorcroft for a while now as well. Um, and you've mentioned a few of these fighters who, are, who stand out to you. Talk about your stable and sort of what's next for him and some yeah. of the fights coming up. So, obviously, the lad who finished off with them, Bobby Faulkner. Yeah. I speak very highly of him, and uh, I think you could see today, like... Yeah, technically brilliant. Yeah, he's, uh, he's good, he's boxing IQ. He's, I don't mind saying it, it's not like a favour. Any of the kids, I say it openly, and I think most of them say it. He's, he's the most talented kid in the gym, and I think over the last 12 months, he's done a lot of growing up and uh, realises now how good he can be. But he's on like the small old show and he's just waiting for his opportunities. Fights again a week, just over a week. Um, and I genuinely believe when he comes for his chance, you know, rises on the biggest shows, whether it be against, whether him even coming in as opponent, I'm very confident we'll take it. Um, he's a very talented lad. Anyone who knows Bobby, I always share the room with him, speak very highly of him. So yeah, you mentioned James. Now he's he's out next month in a bit of a crossroads fight, really. So it's one that new weight for him, is it? Win. New weight, yeah, I think. You know, his performances in his last few fights, and it's sort of, and I think that when we spoke, he probably wasn't honest in just how hard the weight it was. And I was thinking the night, I think this kid's he's got an unbelievable engine. The night he's, um, you know, in the gym and that, and then on the night it was like, it was flat, he couldn't get going and, and stuff like that. But listen, that's no disrespect to like his opponent's box well. And um, 
he probably didn't follow the plan yeah. as, as much as he should have done as well, but probably struggled with that with not being energised. But yeah, who else? Levi, he's waiting on a date. He's just a little bit of family tragedy, God bless him. Um, Muhammad Ali yeah. is just trying a very talented young Some man. Some name to live up to. <laughs> yeah, just a bit. I know we have um, a few Muhammad Ali's around the UK. Oh, yeah. Um, all good lads. But yeah, he's just come from Dave, Dave Caldwell. He's had, you know, a great time there. Dave's a very good coach. Um, but he's, he's not actually that experienced, you know. He didn't have a lot of amateur fights. He's had, he's had three or four he's had now with Dave. He's with Matt Trim, but no, got big goals from Southpaw. He's only a baby, he's 19, but he can crack a little bit as well. And, uh, you know, good boxing IQ, good balance. Good balance, which is always good in a fighter. Uh, who else have I missed? My brother, William. Yeah. Uh, before William, Sahir Iqbal. He's, had, he's just sort of waiting on a day, and it's tough because he can really fight here, but he's just waiting on a day. He's had an opportunity on big shows as well, hasn't he? No, who, who's yeah, that? Will, he's had some, Will, oh, yeah, he's so been William, on some big yeah, shows, he's, yeah. had, he's had some big so experience. William, yeah, under William, he has, he's, so he's had three now, and I think the difference, and you said it yourself sort of from his debut to now, his night and day really uh, improved. I think since his debut, he's had two, he's won them both in the first round. I mean, that listen, that means very little, but... It's, he's gone about his work in a very spiteful way and he's fighting again, he's fighting a decent lad in a week, you know, a lad who's coming to win um, and then he's on again April the 13th with Rhiannon Dixon uh, on the Matchroom show, so yeah, he's fought in a few Matchroom shows, so he's on then and then, yeah, so I just, I just want to keep Matt to be had a long time out the ring and the improvement in him now being active is really good, but um, I just, yeah, he's, he's improved an awful lot. Um, I just want to come on to yourself for a minute. So obviously when you retire yeah. from boxing, you take that step back, um, yeah. especially when you reach the heights that you did and them yeah. nights, it can be extremely hard to say goodbye. But because, yeah. has this given you sort of, has it just scratched that itch for you a bit with the training um, side of it so that you're, yeah. you're still when involved? Yeah. Totally that. I say it all the time, people go, oh, do you miss it? And I go, well, no, I, I probably, I'm, I'm in the gym, I'm around boxing more now than I ever was because, like I was saying, before I've got a busy stable, so I'm always spending time, more time in the gym because, I spend a little bit of time with each and every one of them, do a little bit of one-to-one -one time, so I'm in the gym more than ever, but yeah, massively, that helps, you know, scratch it. Listen, obviously, when I do bits of media, when I see you, whether it be for TV, whether it be yeah. with Don, online or whatever, you're around the fight week, so that's great. You can have the excitement that way, but on the night, if you're working the TV or whichever, you you know, you've got one of the best seats in the house talking about the fight, and then um, in the corner on the night, you probably have got the best seat in the house. Um, it's... And that's sort of like the satisfaction, the motivation when you're seeing a fighter improve and carrying out what you've been working on. And also the lows when it's not it's not gone the way you wanted. So yeah, no, that, that definitely helps fill the void and more, um, yeah. 100%. Look, let's come on to Project Boxing. It's some, uh, oh, yeah. Project Boxing is something that, um, since I walked in the gym, I was speaking to Dom about it, and he says yeah. it's such a good um, platform for fighters. You know, they help with sponsorships, they help jobs outside of boxing. So they, they've, yeah. they've got to just touch on it a little bit. Yeah. I think it's so important. Project Boxing, it's to sort of, listen, we know how tough it is. Like you say, it's not, not every fighter is with your TV promoters, your big four. Yeah, they're not. So around the UK, more than that. But a lot of the TV shows, everyone knows you, when you're on a, a non-TV show, you have to do a ticket deal almost where nearly everyone has to do it where you've got to cover your opponent, you've got to put your bit in the pot for the promoter, which is right, then you might split the profits on the tickets and that's just how it works. Yeah. That's just how it works um, and it's very tough. It's very tough for fighters. So this will help fighters sort of a little bit of jobs outside of boxing. It can help bring sponsorships in, sort of managing the fighters as well. There's a few fighters who we manage, uh, self and Dom. And also like just trying to educate some of the boxers as well through different courses and so so when boxing does end then there's a little bit of summer yeah, maybe to fall back on or to go into uh, because i say it all the time you don't understand how hard it is like i say i've just we've just been going about bobby how talented i feel he is he's literally he's like selling tickets so so we can fight do you know what i mean not so we can get wages or whatever out like that it's, it's like so we can fight and then hopefully his chance comes um but yeah, so that's what about, and also we'll do a few sort of overseas training camp, sort of thanks to sponsors and stuff like that, where it'll give certain fighters an opportunity that they never would have got otherwise. Brilliant. Um, thought it was important to touch on that because I think a lot of people from the outside looking in see boxing like, oh, they're earning a wage, they're earning this, but they've they no don't. Idea. It's no um, idea how tough it is and stuff. And, uh, that's not me, Ken. Look, so as a coach as well, sometimes you're putting hours and hours in, they ain't getting paid nothing. You're not getting paid nothing, and that's just as mad as it sounds. That just 
how facts. it is. Yeah, yeah, that's just facts and the way the business works. And you hope for it one day. You you get on those big shows and you get a title. And it'll make it all the sweeter. But yeah, it's a tough old game. Right. Let's um sort of do a 360 and talk about some of the fights that are getting made and have been made. Yes. What's your opinion on a few? Cool. Um, I believe, I don't think we've seen the fight poster, but Josh Taylor, Jack Catterall looks to be agreed oh, wow, for yeah. Leeds first director arena. Yeah. It's what's getting reported now. Yeah, who's putting that show on? That's what I mean. Um, yeah. Reportedly reportedly online zone, friends. but yeah. I'm also, it's not 100% confirmed. By the time this goes out, if it is confirmed, yeah, yeah don't shoot me for it. We don't have a clue. We don't have a clue. No, but, I don't have heard both. But um, I'm not saying that makes a difference. But um, uh, it's, it's, listen, it's, what weight is it going to be at? Well, that's the thing. Right. We need to wait all that. We know Josh wants yeah. to move up. So, do you know last time? So, last time, I um, genuinely said that I've knew Jack a long time. I was like, listen, Jack will shot you how hard he is, and his defence is very good. And I said, I reckon he'll buzz Josh. It might even put him over. Honestly, dig it out. But Josh will win a close points decision. And that's, well, that's what happened. But, listen, a lot of people thought it was a terrible decision as well. And, listen, watching it back, I thought Jack was extremely unluck unlucky. Do I think it was an off night for Josh and he probably messed up with the weight? Yeah, I probably do. I do. I don't believe it was the best Josh. But um, I believe, like, the only thing, I think Josh's quality, and I've, I've known him a long time, sort of, of, of as a fighter. I remember watching him when he, would, he just won the Commonwealth. But I think now... I possibly make Jack a favourite. Unless What's that based unless on? Is that based on? Well, yeah, well, to wait, won the first fight. I don't know how emotionally involved Josh should be, mm. um, and stuff like that. And then does it suit him then? You know, for Jack to counter. Jack's very good on the back foot, counter and waiting. But it's interesting. Like I say, I think um, that's the matter. I mean, Josh, Josh had his moments with Tiafimo Lopez. Tiafimo Lopez is a special fighter, so it is. If really pushed, I'd probably just favour Jack. But it's the. I, it's not with confidence because I think Josh is a quality fighter. As Jack is, I think Jack doesn't get the credit defensively. Yeah. Um, but it is. But I think, listen, both both fighters might have you know improved from last yeah. time. Very, yeah, I think um, I think the build-up is going to be yeah, unbelievable. There's factors <laughs> such as where um, the weight it's at, so it's hard to sort of predict a winner just you know until we know them. Let's move on. Um, Tyson Fury, we're going to talk about this. Um, yeah. A lot of sceptics out there about this cut and stuff. I mean, I find it hard to believe when you see it. Like, no, course, And plus, think, yeah. fighters, you'll know yourself, when you get to a certain point in training camp, you, you're sort of waiting to get to that peak. He looks in incredible condition, so it doesn't favour him he, not you know, not fighting at that really point. Well, and listen, I think the difference is, listen, I've knew Tyson 20, over, yeah, about 20 years, and Tyson is just wild and stuff. And I think his own brother, like... I look when Shane's and he goes, oh, Tyson, like the stuff he comes out with, you don't know what he's going to come out with and you don't know what to believe in that. And that's, that's probably what's caused a bit of the, is it true, is it not? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But um, no, I believe it's genuine, absolutely. I, I yeah. think, I absolutely believe it's genuine. He looks in good shape. And, and listen, I think he, he really had to knuckle down after Nagano. In fact, that was a disastrous night. Mm -hmm. um, he's, I, I, at one point, I was very confident he beat Usyk just with, I thought size was going to come into play. And I still do think size will come into it, but... After the Nagano fight, it's hard to have any confidence that he'll be this master boxer in UC, but I think he'll be a lot better. And now, listen, I still see Tyson, probably a bit out of heart as well, knowing him such a long time, but I'm nowhere near as confident as what I was before the Nagano fight. Quick one on Joshua and Garnu. After seeing what yeah. Nganu did, yeah. Joshua looks, in the last performance, yeah. I would say, it's the best I've seen him in a long time in terms of a complete yeah. com performance. I, I um, Listen, Nagano shocked everyone. Um, yeah, how, just how good he was. But I'll be also honest, in Zill, probably contradicting a bit what I said, I wouldn't be surprised if Joshua does him in inside four. Yeah. Inside four, and I think he will do. I think he will do. But um, Nagano, he was, yeah, he was that good, wasn't he, against Fury? But a little bit of it was, I do think, because Tyson was that bad. I just thought it was all very strange, and they all. It was almost like an exhibition set up yeah. in the sense of like the night before. I know they're heavyweights, but they're all having this gala dinner the night before the fight. It was just, it was all very, very strange. Whereas Joshua knows there's a threat and there's a real threat here with uh, Francis Nagano. 100%. Well, look, Ant, um, I appreciate your time. Thanks for inviting Thanks me down to him. No, I'll you're be back on Friday. Anytime, man. Yeah, I'll see you later in the week. We need to think of a new advert for freebets.com. Get your best betting offers from freebets.com. Yeah, that'll do.
The following deals are now live.